Do you think this competition is a good or bad thing for Trubisky? It's got to be a good thing for him. If the competition's a bad thing for him, you don't want him at quarterback in the first place. If he can't rise to the challenge of Nick Foles, you don't want him at quarterback. And there's a lot of question about Trubisky. But, you know, if you take away the fact that it was a blunder to move up to, trade, to, to draft him when you have Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes <laughs> available, I mean, yes, that is a blunder. Carson Wentz, on the other hand, who I think, Dan, before you get all upset, I do think he's better than Trubisky, but has certain things in common with him. Athletic quarterback that was moved up for, of course, he's being compared to Jared Goff and Dak Prescott. The competition's not as stiff for him as for Trubisky. Much like Trubisky, by the way, the first time he had a chance to quarterback the team, really, after Trubisky's rookie season, um, where they started out one and three. The first time he got a chance to quarterback led him to a glittering you know, record. Um, the difference was Carson Wentz wasn't available for those playoffs. Nick Foles was for the Eagles, won a Super Bowl. But Mitch Trubisky got knocked out in his first playoff try. Um, at, but the, the re- I want to say the record was 12-4 and four that year. It's a really good season with him at quarterback. It and was. Yes, there were a lot of other reasons that team was good. Nevertheless... And then last year, in a very disappointing season, considering they were loaded, it seemed, in the preseason, they went, he went 8-8. Eight and eight. So figure it out. Since his rookie season, the man has, and I think he was 8-7 and seven as a quarter. I want to say he missed one game his second year. So since his rookie season, he was eight season, and seven. He was eight and the seven. man is what? 8-7. and seven. So 8-7. and Right, 8-7. and seven. So he has 20 wins against 11 losses as a starter since his rookie year. So there's cert- he's a toned-down Carson Wentz. Dan, I don't think he's as good as Wentz, but he has certain similarities. And what happened? Wentz had Foles and not only won a Super Bowl with him as a backup, c- c- competing with him, making him better, you would think, as a result, and also taking over in crunch time for injury reasons, but then also won a, a, a road playoff game against Trubisky. Now Trubisky has the same guy, a loaded team, an excellent defense, a really good record without him, but playoff failures so far. I, I, of course this should be good for Trubisky. If this isn't good for Trubisky, it's good for the Bears fans because you'll find out about him and you can move on. Yeah, let me make myself abundantly clear with this. This is great for Mitchell Trubisky. Multiple reasons why. And Stephen A. and Max and Molly, you guys will understand this, that when you guys become as good at your jobs as all three of you are, you realize it doesn't matter what's around you. You become so focused on your doing your job as good as you possibly can, as good as you possibly can. But that didn't happen overnight for you guys. That was a process to learn to focus on. On that and that's what Nick Foles is going to become for Mitchell Trubisky because here's what Mitchell Trubisky cannot do have off days he can't have a bad practice he can't have an off day when it comes to leadership because I promise you the guy who, who won't is Nick Foles Nick Foles is going to come every day to work with his mindset I'm gonna get better I'm gonna be as good as I possibly can and his teammates are now going to see that and Mitchell Trubisky hasn't had that guy that was focused mentally like that that has the street cred and the clout like Nick Foles does. So this is going to force Mitchell Trubisky to put on his blinders and just plow straight ahead. Do you guys remember that picture of Michael Phelps in the Olympics racing against Chad LaClosse, uh, the South African swimmer, and LaClosse peeks over at Phelps and Phelps is just looking at his target focused on his swim? That's who who Mitchell Trubisky is going to force to be become, not be become or become, is focused on his target because the reality is this you either think you can or think you can't you're right either way and this is going to prove to Mitch Trubisky whether he can do it or can't do it and so this is going to force him to become the mature leader that this organization needs on a day-to-day basis and for that reason it's going to be a great thing for Mitch Trubisky well, I think it all depends on what you're thinking about. If you're thinking about the future of Mitchell Trubisky, I think both of you are right. If you're thinking about the immediate future of Mitchell Trubisky and whether he's going to be the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears, I think you're wrong because I think he's going to get beat out by Nick Foles. And the reason why he's going to get beat out by Nick Foles is not just because Nick Foles is a Super Bowl champion uh, guiding the Philadelphia Eagles once Carson Wentz went down uh, three seasons ago, uh, but then, you know, he comes back the following season in 2018, rather, and he beats, um, uh, you know, he, he beats beats uh, Chicago in the postseason uh, when they were 12 and 4 and they were returning to monsters of the midway in a lot of people's eyes and Nick Foles handled his business and closed the deal and 
right, in that regard. So what you have is a city and an organization that brought a guy on their squad that is winning, that knows what it takes to win. He's experienced and he's poised. He can't run like Mitchell Trubisky, so Mitchell Trubisky needs to use that to his advantage. But anything else that Mitchell Trubisky is trying to learn how to do, Nick Foles has already proven he can do, not to mention the poise. Then we have to go back, and Dan, you would know this study in the game the way that you do. Remember when Mitchell Trubisky was drafted? Remember how Chicago fans reacted? I was told he went to a game at the United Center for the Chicago yes. Bulls, and he was, and he was introduced and he was booed incessantly inside the United Center by those Chicago Bears faithful. People didn't have faith in him. So because of that, that sort of touched his veneer to some degree. It made him a bit uh, uh, shy. Uh, it made him a bit too anxious and too sensitive to what people were thinking and how they were feeling. And that is believed to be a component that has been to his detriment since he has been the quarterback for the Chicago Bears. So you've got people looking at him. You've got his coach trying to get in his head and still a, a level of confidence in him, et cetera, et cetera. You got to think about a whole bunch of things with Mitchell Dubitsky that you don't even have to think about when it comes to Nick Foles. With Nick Foles, well, you simply I'll, I'll are able to but, judge but Steve, whether he's performing or not. With Mitchell Dubitsky, you got to think about psychologically, and that's Go something ahead, the man. Chicago Bears don't want to deal with. But that's why, Stephen A., this is such a good signing. I mean, th th because this is going to be so much more right. about the mental than the physical for Mitchell Trubisky. He's never had that guy. He's, he's had backups. Like, Chase Daniel's a great backup. But Chase Daniel didn't have the clout that you're talking about. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.